All right, new character. Here we go. Cool. Natsuno Minami. Nineteen eighty-five. Minami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? Nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. UFO Mysteries. A special series airing on TV, all about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I'm not sure this is a reference to the X-Files or to that his history channel show what was it called ancient aliens well either way i haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet come on you gotta watch ext it's a classic i saw it in the theater three times at least you can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie i don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway thanks for recording this no problem EXT An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. EXT ET Hmm. Well, the movie did indeed do well. Not so much the Atari game. <laughs> oh gosh. That Atari game was such a disgrace. <laughs> anyway. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. No, not at all. You have all mysteries. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? Destroy us all! Man, that lines keep... That line always makes me think about Billy from the Grim Adventures of Grim. <laughs> from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA, and I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science, then. Oh man, you're right. The War of the Worlds. Hopefully not the... Not the crazy Independence Day movie or whatever it was. I can't even remember at this point if War of the Worlds and Independence Day were supposed to be the same thing. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. So it's interesting. Juro and Yori, two Sentinel pilots, are just hanging around here outside the hallway. Hmm. We have to go to the audio visual room. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Everyone's already there. So stoked. I just gotta get my stuff. Oh, what do they mean by everyone? The audio visual room. Gonna pop in my headphones, everyone. Turn off I all the lights. I wonder where. I wonder why. Can I follow? Yuki chan. Can I follow after them? Ah, oh, I guess not. Huh. I'm honestly legitly curious about their meeting in the audiovisual room. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. 
yeah, who the hell knows. But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. <laughs> what did you say to me? I do legitly wonder who would win if they fought. Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <sighs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Did you want it to <coughs> Did you want it to fight or something? Yuki-chan... <laughs> Don't worry. Mad stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure! There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Ring-a-ding-a-ling. -a -ding. That's a nice walking pose. I poise. Posture. Not pose, posture. Poise. Well, she does have poison. Poison grace. But that's a whole different topic entirely. Return to the classroom. I wanted to go to the audiovisual room. What a shame. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh, well, it was kind of windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year! What's up, senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay... Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Hmm? Another suspicious looking man. Hmm. Looks like a government agent. Seriously, why why is it that government agents are always depicted as being men in suits? Isn't that a bit conspicuous? I mean, someone wearing a de a freaking suit will stand out. Especially if they're the wrong place, like say a school of all things. Ah, uh, I guess the suit team works if they were say in the city or in a public area because you could pass off as some sort of working stiff. But in the school, you stick out like a sore thumb. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could it be? Could they really be men in black? Here comes the men in black. Man, I missed the cartoon series for it. It was fun. Very weird. Yeah, actually, very weird most of the time. But a very fun watch. An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. 
a lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black, its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Oh, isn't that Miura? The guy who time traveled to uh, chase after Okino, the trap. I haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Can I do anything else? Apparently not. All right. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. Finally done. I really think I really think appreciation should be shown for the amount of effort they went through. Look at those thighs. And look at that bloomer. Like, look at the general shape of the body. It looks really it looks really good. Though I do have to wonder, do bloomers count as Exterior wear or inner wear? Does it count as shorts or as undergarments? I never did understood understood bloomers. Not that I'm complaining about them, they look great. I just never understood whether or not they were undergarments or shorts. Well, nothing else to do. Uh I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Fair enough. There are days where people are like that. Hell, I'm guilty of it too. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, what was that? Um, why did you just throw your tracksuit onto the ground? Seriously, why did you just throw your tracksuit onto the ground which you most likely will be using again eventually? Probably going to rewash it, but even so, that's a weird way to change. <laughs> Throwing your clothes on the ground. <laughs> Let's see. Oh wait. I recognize this scene. This is from the trailer. This was one of the scenes from the trailer where she found that robot, right? Something's in there. Dang! Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Uh... When they think about it, he's even... <laughs> he's even hooded like a Jedi. <laughs> this robot, I mean. Wait. What if... What's going on? Uh, there a pervert in here? Um... I don't know. Do you count yourself? Cause I see a pervert right in front of me. <laughs> He's... Still totally dressed. Dude. Why? Were you hoping to get a glimpse of half-naked ladies? Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits? Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron! Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. To be fair, that's a really normal reaction. If you were to just suddenly barge into... Well, a person's dressing room in general. <laughs> well, well, they're well, they're changing clothes. Like that'd be quite a different situation if she was half naked. She probably had literally kicked him. <laughs> I would imagine she possessed really powerful kicks, though. I mean, she is a part of the track and field team. Um, hey there. <laughs> This is wild. 
B J. No way. It talks. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call the men in black. No one really knows much else. Oh man, this is just like the movies. BJ eleven five. That's either a model and ser a model series and a serial number. Or it's coordinates. Either way. An alien stab it's a re an alien. Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one. No, you are not. Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. Boku wa tomodachi desu? Ah man, that was a really entertaining like novel, manga, slash anime. <laughs> like seriously. Oh, I don't deny it went on really odd tangents at times, but it was pretty good. Yes, those black suits all over campus. It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this ape, the thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. BJ? Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In our last in our code matched. Hmm? Huh? Natsuno. Yeah, that's me. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Okay, you're just you're just making up your own lore now. You know nothing about what BJ is or is or pretty much was sent to do and honestly, I have no idea either. I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like is your brain inside of a jar or something? That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? Gate open? <laughs> ah, yes. I miss that Hiram anime, Gatekeepers. That was a good part of my childhood. That and Grand Fisher Musashi. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about, but it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Man, I love that robot sound. When it moves. But can I do anything else? I guess not. Wow, this technology is crazy. From the looks of it, it's a Tory gate. Wait, gate, Tory gate. Is it the same shrine that everyone seems to be using to time travel? <laughs> you want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait! You can't just go walking out like that! The black suits would spot you in a second! The location BJ pointed out on the map, it's a shrine nearby the school. I can get him there, but... 
My PE bag? Yeah, this will do the trick. Hmm. Well, I suppose if we compress him enough like a laptop, he would definitely fit in that bag, no problem. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm, maybe he can fit in here too. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh-uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? Can I grab anything else? Alright, let's go. <sighs> okay. Doesn't seem like we were followed. Not gonna lie, that car looks really suspicious. Like it's on the stakeout, except since there's no people in it, at least from what I can see. Maybe it's just a randomly parked car. Or, I suppose not randomly, it probably belongs to someone who lives around the area. This is it. Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? If this shrine really has been around for that long... I wonder if this is the same shrine from... From when... Uh, when Ogita time traveled from... If it is, then that would actually explain how everybody who uses this time traveling gate manages to end up close to this school. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. I'm guessing he just... Oh, dang! Time travel. Hmm. What happened here? DJ, wait up! Don't leave me behind! I like it. How it looks, the colors used, it looks a, like a scenario straight out of the apocalypse, which, now that I think of it, is apt. Considering this is supposed to paint us a hellscape of destruction, and it does so very beautifully. Also very fittingly. Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. Ah, maybe you're not that far off. It looks like it was decimated by something. Uh, there's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. Why does this make me think of Evangelion for some reason? They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Soccer Award. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? Oh. 
I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven, no. There's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? 2064? Wait, didn't you come from 1985? So about... Yay, 79 years have passed? Well, not 79 years have passed. I guess the more accurate description would be BJ just time traveled not to know with him 79 years into the future. Ah. They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Eh, fair enough. Give or take, it is indeed 80 years. Hey, where are you going? What's that? What's that tremor? Oh. What? What are those? That explains the tremor. A monstrous tripod higher than many houses Striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its career Interesting... Interesting word choice In its career A walking engine of glittering metal Striding now across the Hida The war of the worlds One extra leg, but they're just like the tripods, weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Look at those things go. Why did we come here? Search. Memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? A sentinel? Huh. Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh wow, a close-up of the thing. Huh. I wonder how high up this, uh... What I assume to be a destroyed highway is. For you to be able to get a clear glimpse of this giant thing's face, I mean... Think about it. A normal human barely reaches its legs if they were to be compared up close, if I'm recalling correctly. So, how high up is this bridge that you're able to get a decently, a decently clear view of this thing's, uh, I guess we'll call it face? Head? We gotta get out of here! Smart decision. RUN AWAY! Hey, you gotta give, uh... You gotta give, um... Jonathan Joestar some credit. Gotta give Jonathan Joestar some credit, though. He may, 
Even he would have run away in the face of a giant hulking metal beast. Joseph would have just outright ran away the moment he saw the damn thing though. <laughs> Jonathan is brave, but he ain't stupid. Joseph is... Eh, I'll give him credit. His cowardice is also because of his ingenuity. He knows when's a good time to run and knows when's a good time to use running away as a way to trick someone into a false sense of security. It's a pretty it's a pretty legitimate tactic in all honesty. Why I went off on a tangent talking about the Joe Stars, I have no idea. Episode 4. Or should I say wave 4? Oh, Miura. How am I doing, miura -kun? Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. Makes a lot of sense. Each sentinel is developed for a different form of combat. Definitely to cover each other's weaknesses. And also to adapt on the fly to different types of enemies. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us. But we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Miracoon, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Miracoon! They're coming at us in one straight line! <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. Pure through packs of kaiju straight ahead with the main battery heavy railgun. <laughs> Hell yeah! A railgun! Battle start. Stay calm. Stay Remember calm. your training. Stay calm. Remember your training. Man, look at that thing charge. Target confirmed. A hit. Enemy unit destroyed. That was awesome. You got them all in one shot. I know, right? That really was freaking awesome. <laughs> That really was freaking awesome, man. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. With great power comes great responsibility. Also, great costs. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Well, considering you are piloting giant robots, that really would be the worst thing to happen. Uh, roger that. Victory condition. Destroy all kaiju. Lose condition. Get the terminal destroyed. Ah, uh, let's see here. Ready for hit. Hit. There we go. Good job. They've got their sights on me. I'm not throwing away my shot. Alright, the long range. Wait. Wait, wait. Did the long range missiles barely reach? No, no, no. Oh, there's an enemy I won't be able to hit. Now! Did I get it? Got one! We got through it! It's a miracle! It's a miracle there ain't more damage to the surrounding infrastructure. I'm not gonna lie. For a first time pilot. Those were some impressive moves out there. Couldn't have done it without you, Miracun. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? This isn't good. Looks like
looks like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A, a surface record. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro kun You're in a Sentinel too? It is, Yunachan. We're here to help. No way. You too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Juro kun I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Tutorial support unit, the second generation model for Yusaka pilots, comes with support units which are armaments that can be positioned. So, turrets. Once positioned, each support unit automatically takes action until the enemies are destroyed. Select Fuyusaka with the directional pad, then enter the action menu and choose Sentry Gun. Fair enough. Let's see. I'll put it over here. Let's go with uh, blowing up as many of you as possible. Okay, so it didn't reach. Damn. You move. Move to the front. Number 13. Moving out. Can't mess. The what can I do? I have to. What? I have to focus. There we go. Just watch. Got it. Nice. I need to kill her. Tutorial Intercepting missiles. Certain enemies, like Twin Tails, attack from a distance using missiles. Missiles can be evaded by moving or intercepting with attacks. Deal with them in a way that best suits the situation. Enemy on the move. They don't stand a chance. A hit. There we go. Enemy down. <laughs> Gotta do something. Just it's fire. fire. Dang, how are you still alive? Let's see. Twin Tail. Kaiju that specializes in long range attacks. Attacks from distance with missiles and gatling guns. It can be taken down at a close range with melee attacks or from a distance with long range weapons. So these things are most likely built for mobility and for range combat in exchange for having thin armor plates. Which would explain why it doesn't seem to be able to defend much. Probably susceptible to any kind of attack. Multi rocket launchers. Fire. How's that? Got it. We can do this. Right? Sentry gun. Where enemy on not throwing away my shot. Oh there you don't you're not getting in.
No more enemies, right? Right. Yes? 